It's two uh, park grills here. The mud's pretty soft. I'm just using a shovel, a rock breaker. Basically digging these holes 18 inches. Got one done already. Gonna finish this one up here. And then these, these posts just drop in there, concrete, and then it's four bolts that attach the barbecue uh, grill head or top to the posts. And that's it. And we do four of these. I'll show you the other location and I'll show you the finishing touch here. And the customer wanted me to remove this post, cutting the bolts off at the concrete with my grinder. And that is it. All right, here we have the second location where we are gonna go ahead and install and assemble the two outdoor barbecue grills here. And we are gonna remove this post. We're digging the holes 18 inches deep and about 12 inches in diameter. The mud's pretty soft, but we got my rock breaker just in case we need it. Then we'll drop the posts in there, go get the concrete, and we're gonna remove that. And the goal is, is to get this, the top of the bolt and the sleeve flush with the concrete. You know, if anyone's walking around here, it's smooth over the top. But yeah, just make it to where it's smooth and flush with the concrete. And that's all the client asked me to do was just to do that, throw that away. We got a dumpster right there and that's it. All right, we got six bags of 50, uh, 50 pound sacrete, fast setting concrete, 30 minute curing time, no mix required. 50 pounds, we've got four holes, so it's 75 pounds of concrete in each hole. Some comparison versus videos upcoming here. And a five gallon bucket for water. And for the base of the holes, some peat gravel, all purpose gravel, we're good to go. Now that we have everything here, all purpose gravel will go on the base or the floor of the hole, about an inch or two. And then we have the fast setting concrete, 30 minute set. All right, that will go next putting a bag and a half for each post. We have our corner post level right here, post and pipe level to level the posts. And what I do for posts, learn this when I used to work for Direct TV. When you have a post like this, you don't want it to sink into the mud or the dirt, or you don't also want it to spin over time. Concrete can hold it in place, but over time if people move it or bump into it or jump on it things like that and you can begin to spin and let go of the concrete so i got two and a half inch self-tapping screws that we put right here in the bottom i'll do about three of them and that keeps it from spinning and the all-purpose gravel will keep it from sinking into the ground for example someone does decide to climb on those for whatever reason uh, i'll just get some water and we'll we'll go ahead and do this and i'll show you how it looks during the process Things looking pretty level. Bubble right there in the middle. Bubble right there in the middle. That's pretty level, y'all. And it should set fairly quickly, say in 30 minutes. So we'll go ahead and do the second one. I put these guys in the post. All right, we're gonna let these two cure. And then we're gonna come back after we finish the other two to attach the top right here. It's just four bolts, nuts, and lock washers. I'll film the other ones, then we're gonna put some of the dirt back on top, and then some pea gravel to kind of match the gravel around here, and we will be done, y'all. It's between the two lines, so it's almost perfect. We're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna put three self-tapping screws at the bottom of this post and that post first. Then we'll put gravel at the bottom of the holes, and we're gonna put enough to where the depth of the holes are the same after we put that gravel and then after that we're gonna get our post level on this post level it out put the concrete in there with water and let it cure let's go ahead and do this
All right, we'll let these two cure. We got one, or we'll let these two set, and then we'll come back, because we're gonna go put the tops of the grills onto the other two over there, and then we'll come back, fill up the hole, spread out the dirt, and we will be done. That's really good for an $1,800 day. Got some content for a deal video and four grills in the ground. All right, we have two of them done, ready to go. Concrete has cured quite well. I think it'll hold up just fine. And what's great about these guys is you can spin them any direction you need to when you're grilling. So yeah, really nice, really nice thing to have at the apartment complex. Look good and ready to go. So that's pretty much it. We have children out here playing right now. It's after school. Yeah, they're all good to go. In concrete, four of these in place one day. I'd say the work took about five hours in total, just work, but travel time, getting supplies, things like that, maybe another eight hours. So 12, 13 hour day. Got up at 4.30 this morning, left the house at 6.30. And right now it's about 6.30, so yeah. 14 hour day. All right, if this video helped you in any way and you want to support the channel, we always appreciate likes, comments, and shares, and subscribing to the channel. Don't forget about this giveaway that we do every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. As always, here at Mastering Mayhem, I'm looking for the best tools, tech, DIYs, and deals for you. Until next time, I only hope all the best to you and yours.